Kamla Das thus explicates the Butlerian notion of, of subversive identities constantly demonstrating the constructedness of sex, gender, desire, continuity and making visible and tangible the cultural configurations of sex and gender to proliferate and become intelligible, as Butler says, not deviant. She is simultaneously flaunts and parodies traditional female stereotypes and adopts at her will identities that are constantly contradicting herself, again reminding one of Butler's notion for a variable construction of identity beyond traditional binary constructions, where one could participate in a range of identities such as Kamala Das often does, you know, like Kulina on one hand, a woman in the Bhakti tradition on another, a radical feminist, a feminist Muslim in pink parda, a lesbian heterosexual, a reluctant yet compulsive nymphomanic wife, a feminine feminist, uh, uh, a sex radical and sometimes a post-feminist. Kamala Das through her life and works constantly demonstrates such fluidity and ambiguity of the self. As Geeta Doctor writes in her obituary, I quote, In the many roles that she spun around herself, Kamala Das was only the best known of them. There was one that she enjoyed the most, that is, in constantly defying expectations. There is a lovely story told by an American academic. She was meeting Kamla after her conversion to Islam. For an apparently free-spirited woman who had celebrated every physical detail of her body, from the musk-scented sweat that attracted her so-called lovers, to the slithering emanations with which she described the indignities of childbirth as they took place in her ancestral home in Kerala, in the most famous of her books, her autobiography, My Story. Voluntarily donning the parda could only be seen as a strange choice for Kamala. Was this, wondered the academic, the beginning of a complete reversal of choices from total freedom to total repression and would she be meeting a black veiled woman of totalitarian inhibitions? She need not have worried. When Kamla Suraya came into the room, she was wearing a burqa, all right, but it was in the most brilliant shade of pink. She had again subverted the most austere of garments and made it entirely her own invention. Unquote. Uh, that was Gita Doctor in the obituary, not a well-behaved woman. Which, uh, which was published in Indian Express.